What up, guys? Welcome back to another podcast, another episode here to answer more of your questions I get from Instagram. All right, so let's get started with the first one. All right, so the first question comes from C. Carrasales. They say, hey, bro, I need some help. I have low confidence on myself like I see all the requintistas and I feel like I'm nowhere near their level. I've been playing for years, but I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm not improving. Yeah, dude, so you can't compare yourself with other musicos, dude. Everyone has their own path. Everyone has their own timeline. Everyone does stuff at their own pace. So um, that's the first part, the first answer to your question. Never compare yourself to other people. Focus on yourself. Always focus on yourself, dude. Entonces, once you get that in your head, now the next step is just start challenging yourself every day. Like, slowly, little by little. Once you get, first, get your basics down. Get your picking down. Get your, learn all your escalas. Learn all your acordes. Learn all, learn everything you can, dude. And then, every day, start challenging yourself. Listen to, um, listen to some requintos. And start playing requintos that you couldn't play before. Entonces, Like, I imagine you could play simple requintos, like the basics, like El Karma, de El Camacho, and all those. Just start challenging yourself little by little. Play some de Carlos Ulises Gomez. Look up uh, requintos, requ look up requinto covers on Instagram from other requinteros, other musicos, and start, um, like, there's a lot of badass musicos out there, and just start trying to learn what they're playing. And just challenge yourself every day, dude. Like, have fun. Like, enjoy the process, dude. Never, never say, oh, I'm not getting any better. I suck. Never have that in your mind, dude. Always focus on yourself and have fun. Just enjoy the process, dude. Like, no es una carrera. We're, we're all going to get there. Just keep doing what you're doing, all right? So I hope this helps you out. Let's move on to the next question. All right, so la siguiente pregunta viene de Kike Puente. Dice, bro, me and my group are just starting to upload videos. Do you think it's too early to put one of my compositions out there? And when is it a good time? Please. All right, compa, so the answer to that question is there's never a perfect time to do anything, all right? So as soon as something pops into your mind, as soon as an idea pops into your mind, go out and do it, dude, because a veces las ideas vienen y luego de repente se te olvidan o se te van y nunca las haces. Entonces, en, de repente que te llega una idea, like, should I upload this video? The answer should always be yes. Should I upload, I just wrote a song, should I upload this video? Yes. I just learned this requinto. Should I upload a video? Yes. The answer should always be yes, bro. Entonces, si ya tienes sus composiciones listas, empieza a grabar, graba un video, súbelas. En cuanto las tengas, sube, 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 sube. Es el punto, dude, para sacar tu música para que más gente te empiece a conocer. Like, todos piensan que tienes que tener un chingo de seguidores para empezar a compartir tu música y eso no es cierto porque si nunca compartes lo que, lo que escribes o lo que haces, la gente nunca se va a enterar de lo que estás haciendo. Entonces, um, si no estás subiendo nada, how are you going to get followers in the first place, dude, all right? So, um, as soon as you get those songs written, upload, 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 upload. That's how you're going to start slowly building your audience and just go out there. And as soon as you upload stuff, like, check out other people's stuff too, dude. Like, share the love, reciprocate the love, dude. You're not the only one going for, for trying to become famous or going for these high goals. Like, everyone has, everyone uploads their music también. So, as soon as you upload your video, start liking other people's stuff, start commenting on their stuff. And uh, little by little también, they're going to take notice and they're going to look at your stuff too. And that's how you're going to build a community, dude. Just, like, network, 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 make friends. And um, hope this tip helps you out. Let's move on to the next question. All right, the next question comes from Bolasaba underscore. They say, I'm trying to start a group of my own, but I can't find any musicians that play Serreño. All right, that's a good question, bro. Muchas, muchas personas tienen esta pregunta que están tratando de empezar su grupo y no encuentran músicos para armar el grupo. Entonces, lo que yo te recomiendo hacer es primero preguntar a todos tus amigos y familia si les interesa. A veces... Es más probable que si a ti te gusta tocar, hay otra persona en tu familia que también le gusta tocar. Entonces nada más pregúntale, hey, are you down to start a group? If yes, they might say yes. It's most likely they'll say yes, dude, you already know them. And if they don't, then whatever, dude, ask your friends. If you know any friends that play, ask them también, are you down to start a group serreño? Um, most likely they'll say yes. But if you don't know anyone who plays, dude, there's a whole bunch of beast ass musicals on Instagram. Just search up hashtags, Requinto, Serreño, Campirano, etc., dude. Like, you'll find a whole bunch of videos. These people are always uploading Requintos, Requinto covers on their Instagram. So just search up those hashtags and, and start DMing a few of them. Like, check out the profile. If they live near you. Just um, send them a DM. Say, hey, bro, I see how you play. I, I like it, dude. Are you down to join a grupo? And most likely, these people are looking for grupos too, dude. So just network, network, network. Y como te digo, it's hard. 
it's not it's not gonna be easy dude it's not like you're just gonna search up a uh, hashtag and right away they're gonna pop up because it's people from all over the u.s or all over mexico so um you, you have to be patient but just always look every day look 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 and um they'll pop out they'll pop out sooner or later right dude so hope this tip helps you out let's move on to the next question all right so the next question comes from it's underscore danny 22 they say so like there's people that keep hating on my posts and i just wanted to see if i could get some tips all right dude there's always gonna be haters bro like if you upload something there's always gonna be that hater that's gonna comment on your stuff say oh you suck like give up and do something else and uh my advice is just ignore them dude like you're doing something that's causing them to feel something so you're doing something right if you don't have any haters and i'll be worrying but if you have haters you're on the right path all right because your haters are always going to be your best supporters like they're going to be the ones talking they're going to be the ones spreading the word about you they're going to be like oh have you heard of this dude i don't like him and like it it doesn't make sense but they're going to be your best supporters because like your friends are just going to like your stuff they might leave a comment but your haters dude they're, they're out there spreading the word they're helping you out dude so don't even trip like um como te digo, just focus on yourself keep uploading those videos just just do your own thing dude ignore all that hate and um i wish you best of luck in your music just keep doing what you're doing all right so let's move on to the next question all right this one's not a question but el compa arturo mendez dice salúdame en un video saludos compa arturo este mucha suerte mucho éxito en tu música all right <laughs> Alright, so la última pregunta viene de Betito JJ. Dice, hey bro, just wondering, have you heard of Los Tecleros de Ramón Jiménez? That's the group I play with, but we don't seem to be growing an audience. We just played in Las Pulgas and TJ. Is there any tips you think you could give me to help us gain an audience? We have a new song coming out tomorrow called Besando Botellas. And I want to make sure that song gets good promotion because I think with the right promotion, it could become an éxito. All right, bro. So that's a good question. I think this is going to help out a lot of people listening to this podcast or looking at this video. Uh, how do you grow your audience? How do you promote your song, your next hit song to grow an audience? All right. So that's a that, that's a good question, dude. Let's get into that. Um, the first thing, the first thing I want to mention is that a lot of people try to go too big, too fast. Entonces, like, like if you're just starting out, dude, you can't you can't target everyone. You can't target everyone in Mexico and in the United States because that's gonna cost you a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of your time to try to get your music all all over. Like we're not we can't compete with these that already have money to to promote it in radio and stuff like that. So we have to focus small, right? So the first thing, as soon as your song comes out, uh, upload the video, upload the song on todas las plataformas, Spotify, iTunes, and todas las plataformas de video, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, IGTV. And then um, uh, people like your followers, the people that already know you, they're going to listen to your stuff. And of course, they're going to support, like, comment and share. And um, so that's the first step, just uploading all your stuff in all these different platforms. The next step is to run Facebook ads. All right. Pero como te digo, you can't target people all over the U.S. or all over Mexico because that's going to cost you a bunch of money, dude. So enfócate in your city like easily you could you could um get everyone in your city to know your grupo just by running a facebook ad but la gente que nunca ha hecho un facebook ad uh, each view only costs you one cent so imagínate there's not a lot of people in your city so you could easily show them show them that song um with the facebook ad and you're not going to spend a lot of money doing it all right so that's the first step run a facebook ad and just just keep promoting it dude run that ad uh, everyone in your city is going to see that ad like target people that go to nightclubs like maybe between the ages of uh what 21 to 30 so the goal is to get these people to know your grupo so not, so as soon as um you're gonna play at a local nightclub like promote promueve lo machine dude like in todas sus, sus plataformas say i'm gonna be here come support and imagine you fill up a nightclub dude P as soon as that people see que puedes traer gente a, a lugares like you could start charging nightclubs a whole bunch of money dude because you're getting them more money on beer on on alcohol and shit and um people talk as soon as they see que estás llenando lugares people start talking and te van a empezar a invitar a más lugares and you're going to be making more money and you're going to be able to run ads uh targeting people like far farther people dude like maybe another city maybe another yeah, maybe another city, dude. Just keep doing city by city and slowly but surely you'll start growing your audience, right? So 
Hope this tip helps you out. And um, I'm going to end this podcast right here. Muchas gracias por ver este video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to share this podcast with your friends. All right. I'm watching. I'll see you guys in the next podcast. Later.